Hello mortals. Imagine one day you're walking in the middle of nowhere and you suddenly see a time machine. On it there is a red button saying random. And of course you press it. Okay, this looks better. Hey, what year is it? What does BC stand for? Well, if he wasn't born yet how do you know? Anyway, here are some advices for time travelers on how to rebuild the modern world. The first things you need to know are the units of measurement. The meter is defined as the distance traveled by light in a vacuum in a 299 792,458th of a second. Yes, no more imperial systems this time. Now what is a second? It's the time it takes light to travel 299 792 458 meters. Okay that's not very helpful. Another way to think of a second is the time between the human heartbeats. It's also the time it takes to say one Mississippi. Now one meter can be defined as the length of a pendulum that takes one second to swing from end to end. A gram is the weight of a cubic centimeter of water. Now regarding medicine. Wash yourself in clean water regularly to keep yourself clean. Tell the doctors to wash the surgery instruments in boiling water to kill all the small bad boys. Germs haven't been discovered so you can call them whatever you want. The mold that grows on bread, and if when viewed under a microscope looks like weird hands, is penicillin, which is an antibiotic. Use it to treat bacterial infections. Viruses on the other hand, are treated with vaccines. Grow a culture of this virus and then kill it by heating it. Once the virus is dead, inject it in yourself. The dead virus cells won't kill you, but they'll teach your body to create a resistance. Also extract insulin from the pancreas of pigs and use it to treat diabetes. Boil milk to kill all the small bad boys. Find lodestones and heat it up. Now you have a magnet. Let the magnet move freely and it will act like a compass. Wrap some copper wire around an iron bar and put it near a water wheel with a magnet attached to it and you have achieved electricity. Run electricity through tungsten and you have discovered the light bulb. Take that Edison. Run a current through a wire at certain frequencies and you've made a radio. Measure the time it takes the radio waves to come back and you've created a radar. You can also do the same thing with sound and create a sonar. Put a bar of zinc and one of manganese dioxide in an acid, that will act as an electrolyte and run a current through them, and voila, you've got a primitive battery. Make the process reversible and the battery will become rechargeable. To create a very basic camera use an iodine coated, silver plated, copper plate for the imprint, and a silver chloride bath that will fix the image. Afterwards go around and photograph people telling them you stole their soul. For fun of course. In order to make a transistor you have to divide a silicon semiconductor in three parts. Two n-type sections injected with phosphorus atoms, and one p-type injected with boron, or vice versa, depending on what you're trying to achieve. Afterwards, dip it in some virgin's blood and recite some incantation like abracadabra and hope it works because there is no way I can explain how a transistor actually works in this video. Now using these transistors create logic gates, which you can use to do all sorts of mathematics. And voila, you've got yourself a computer. Also make sure you have at least a thousand transistors that are at least 100 micrometers in size. You don't want a computer the size of a castle. Now link two computers together through a cable, which will send out information encoded as electrical impulses and which will be subsequently decoded on the other end. Do that with more computers and here is your internet. Nuclear Physics Time Tell all the alchemists that in order to create gold, one has to bombard atoms of platinum with neutrons accelerated at speeds near that of light. Also wish them good luck doing that. What's that? 
They don't know what an atom or a neutron is? Atoms are the building blocks of the universe, so don't trust them, they make up everything. Atoms consist of a positively charged nucleus made up of neutral neutrons and positive protons, and a negatively charged electronic cloud. What else do they need to know? How to make nuclear bombs of course. The idea is really simple. Bombard uranium-235 isotope atoms with neutrons which will create a nuclear chain reaction. For example the power released from the amount of uranium the weight of a grain of rice is roughly equivalent to 300 kilograms of TNT. How about we go even bigger? Antimatter bombs. Compared to nuclear weapons that convert less than 1% of their mass into energy, antimatter bombs translate 100% of their mass. The released energy can be calculated using this nice formula, that you've discovered yourself of course. So 1 kilogram of antimatter exploding would create a blast similar to that of the Tsar bomb, at around 45 megatons of TNT. There's only one slight problem. For today's standards, it would cost approximately 63 trillion dollars to create 1 gram of antimatter. So once again, wish all the alchemists good luck with that. So let's see. You've taught your human ancestors medicine, chemistry, physics, how to obtain electricity, how to create the computer and the internet, even how to control the atom. Will this allow the human civilization to evolve and catch up with our modern day society in the span of a few decades? Will your divine intervention make humans become an interplanetary species before our middle ages? Let's fast forward and see. Oh, of course. What else could have we expected from these humans? 